Hi. So I wanted to come on here today to talk about the different type of um, guys and friends that, you know, I attracted into my life due to being raised in an unhealthy environment. Um, I think that me, so with me having a father who was just no morals, like he has no morals as far as his children and the actual safety of us. So the advice he would give was always kind of like, oh, if your dude um, has another girlfriend or if you're the side chick, don't worry about it, just play your role type of thing. And that was kind of what he was trying to do with me and my mom. And I think that it really it really did play a role in the guys that I began to date because they ended up being just like him or they already had someone else. And I was, I felt, not that I felt comfortable, but I felt like it was normal. And so I just kind of, um, I just kind of accepted the situation. I didn't really think that I could do better. So it was, I was attracting like pimps and drug addicts and scammers and just yeah I think yeah drug addicts pimps scammers yeah I think those are like the key type of men that I would um end up in um also like cowards and bums and you know, of course, pedophiles, I think that um, those are the type of men that I was attracting. And I think those are the type of men that a lot of women who have been abused, they attract, you know, they attract either people that were just like the people that abused them in their life. And then they end up dating these people in different bodies and, and or or with women. Um, with men that were abused, they end up going for like strippers or they turn, not they go for, but they turn into like strippers or, you know, abused wives or girlfriends, or they end up becoming women that get used for their money. Um, of course they attract pedophiles and they, or they become drug addicts or they become like serial baby mamas. Like they have like over five kids with like different dads or they become like a permanent side chick or they just feel like they just can't do any better and I feel like that's very sad I feel like if somebody has been abused and doesn't heal they end up becoming these things because I wouldn't necessarily say I don't know I don't know why I just felt like it was the norm I felt like a guy cheating on you and having another girl and you know, you knowing about it, but, you know, that's just how guys are. I thought that was normal. I thought that, you know, allowing strangers to see me naked for money was normal. I thought, you know, I'm hustling. Like, I thought it was something that was normal. I thought that um, men who look at young girls in a sexual way, I thought that was normal because I was told, you know, that's just how men are. And I, I strongly don't believe that's how all men are. I feel like that's how men are that are sick in the head. Like, I believe that there are good men out there that, you know, are not attracted to children. Like, I just, that is a very sick mindset. And I think growing up, it was all, that was the norm. Like, you couldn't dress a certain type of way in front of men. And when I say a certain type of way, I'm not saying, like, um, provocative or showing any breast or butt. It was kind of like wearing, like, like a t-shirt and shorts kind of thing. Like, it was that, like, oh, go, go put something else on or go change. Like, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's men here or, uh, 
and it would just be kind of like but that's so and so like so what he's a man though and it was just kind of like it was put in my head so young that it doesn't matter how old you are it doesn't matter um if you're related it doesn't matter like um pretty much it was kind of like if you're a, if you're a girl it doesn't matter if you're four years old or or 40 um and your cousin uh is a man he's gonna instantly think you're sexy and want to do something with you or it doesn't matter how old you are if you're a female and your mom's boyfriend comes over and you're three you know it doesn't matter like he's still you know what i'm saying men are just attracted to women of all ages that was what i grew up in and growing up it was just kind of like you know you just couldn't wear certain things you couldn't really be comfortable in the house and it was just really weird and once i got old enough to actually date it would be men that just were the bottom of the barrel and not saying not trying to down them or anything but it's just kind of like they have probably been hurt too in their lives so that's why they probably feel like they're only good enough to scam or to be pimps or you know what i'm saying their self-esteem is low as well you know but it was just kind of like i kind of see what people say you attract what you are if you're a low um vibing person if you have no self-love for yourself you're gonna attract people that don't have that either you know what i'm saying and it's gonna be covered with false confidence like um pimps are not something to look up to scammers are not something to look up to you don't want some why would you their their end goal is always going to be jail that's not a career that's not something to be proud of that's not something to oh yeah my man mm, girl like you're bragging about someone being able to take from someone else to have their own lifestyle it's like they don't have a real job they steal from other people or if he's a pimp he doesn't have a real job he manipulates young girls to sell their bodies for him or to go dance and bring him back the money. He's not really doing anything with himself as a man. He's not he's not doing anything in reality, you know, or women that end up um, dating men that they take care of and feel like they need a man because, oh, girl, his oh girl his thing is just so good it's like you're you're basically taking care of this grown man because he has a penis and because he's good at sex he's not doing anything for you he's not helping you with anything he's basically like um a, a stepchild that you took in he's not bringing anything to your life nothing he's like a leech it's like and they feel like that is okay like it's okay for um for a woman to take care of their man and it's like no because you're attracting somebody that don't love themselves if a man is willing to allow you to sit up there and take care of him he don't he don't really love himself he don't really think too highly of himself because regular men go out and get it and actually have real jobs and you know go to school and actually want to better themselves real men don't sit around and collect handouts from women like that's just not normal and i think that if you grew up in that lifestyle you know once you become an adult you think that's normal but having a man that um isn't self-sufficient is not normal it's very um very weird and uh another thing that i've noticed is that a lot of people who have been abused, they end up going on this, like, no love, money over everything, like, type of attitude, you know? And then that's when, with the guys, they'll get with women that they don't really like, or they'll sleep around a lot and get a bunch of women pregnant and then leave them. And Or the women, they'll have babies by 
a number of men because they're seeking to be loved at the end of the day and I think that it plays different from women women they will fall in love fast try to connect to a guy fast and you know just want him to love her and for guys I think it's more of a power thing like if they wasn't loved as a child they'll go around um building up this love to have women have multiple of women feel this love for them but not feel it back because it's more of like yeah you love me and now I'm getting what I didn't get as a child but I'm not gonna love you back because when I did love a woman you know like their mom that didn't love them you know it's more of like a yeah you know I am lovable now because look at all these women that love me you know it's kind of like a from my experience, I just feel like when guys have been abused and neglected and all that, they take it out on the women that they date. You know, they end up becoming like bums. Or they can be end up being really successful but treat women like shit because in the back of their minds, like, well, my mom never loved me, so this is why I, 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 I don't love you because person that they wanted to love them so much didn't love them so it's like well fuck you you know what i'm saying it's like it's kind of like a fuck you for them. it's like they're treating you the way they want to treat their mom for not loving them in a way and it's like like it's i'm trying to explain it like for women they seek men like say if their father is the reason why they are so like like they have daddy issues they'll seek a man that is just like their dad somebody that don't love them somebody that, that is emotionally unavailable probably um has poor uh career choices or poor decision making meaning that either they don't have a, a real career or they have this long line of like hurting women and children and just being shitty men and for guys they'll attract women like their mom like women that don't love them are usually trying to use them for money um it's just a non-genuine thing or they'll or they will become like a narcissist and attract women that they know crave them and want them to love them so bad but they treat them like shit because it's like a it's like a power thing you know it's like they get to feel some false sense of being manly and being strong because they got somebody to fall in love with them and they don't love them back because that's how their mom treated them type shit like or whoever their dad that left or whatever it's kind of like a uh seeking revenge but to someone else you know, I'm hope I'm hope I'm, I'm I'm connecting with someone. Out uh, there, um, here's how to tell if you were abused. If because some people they don't remember or they block out the memory, but they have a trail of things that they do and they don't know where it comes from. You probably were abused, um, as a child, and as a child, I mean like as a baby. Or up to a certain point to where you can't remember. Like toddler, baby-ish. Um, you were watching porn at a very young age. Um, if you remember having this interest in porn and and nasty stuff and, and, and rubbing your, your stuff on people, you were abused as a baby. And this does happen. But this, is, this does happen. You know, that's why I think it's very important for women to stop leaving their kids um, alone. Not not even to say stop leaving y'all kids uh, with people. It's like, if you have a history of being abused, I really think it's very important for you to heal first before you have children. Because if you're still around the people that abused you, if you um, are attracting people that are like your abuser, you know, it's it's... I wouldn't say it's a, it's inevitable, but you're putting your child at very high risk danger. You know, like 
if you haven't if you haven't healed within yourself about what happened to you you're you you are still attracting these type of people in your life whether you believe it or not so if you have a child nine times out of ten you're leaving this child with these same type of people you know say if it was your granddad that did it to you and you have a kid and you leave your kid to be babysat by your grandparents you know you may feel like your child is okay but your child is really not your child is probably gonna get abused by that person you know what i'm saying or you have a boyfriend but your kid doesn't like your boyfriend but you leave to go to work and you leave your kid with with that boyfriend or you have a newborn baby and your boyfriend is abusive and has anger problems and you're leaving your newborn baby with him to go to work you're putting your child in a position to be abused whether you want to believe it or not it is it's probably going to happen because if you haven't healed you're attracting these same type of abusers you know in, in your french in your friend group or whatever you know what i'm saying if you've been abused and your new boyfriend has abusive tendencies or he's a bum or he just he's just a product of your abuse you know you're attracting the same abusive spirit in a different body and you have a child and you leave that child with them they're gonna get abused too you know it's just the truth it's not a oh well they wouldn't do that to them oh she's a baby like he's not gonna hurt a baby yes he will yes he will because he's abusive he's abusive or if he's a pedophile and your granddad and he's like oh well it was so so long ago that doesn't matter did he go to therapy for that did he get um counseling for that did you get did you see any justice happen if the if your family just swept that under the rug and didn't do anything about it he's probably still a pedophile yeah he's probably he's probably still a little weird okay so yeah, you were watching porn at a young age. You have a hard time being sexual with people. Like say if you're having sex, you just, you're disconnected. Or you go back to when you were traumatized and you think of that while having sex. Some people think of it and feel disgusted. Some people think of it and feel sexual. It is very normal to feel to st to still have those sexual feelings within yourself but this is about if you've been abused but don't know it now say from however age you can remember um you didn't really like being close to people or you didn't really sitting on somebody sitting on people's laps like really like made you feel some type of way or you were very like overly sexual like you were trying to like hump your cousins or you like your conversations as a child was very inappropriate you know like you're trying to you wonder what a vagina looks like or you're touching yourself and you're you're like 10 that's not normal you know that is not normal something probably happened to you that you don't remember um you have a drug problem now if you don't remember being abused but you have a serious drug problem i mean serious drug problem like um like you do heroin and coke and a huge amounts of weed in a day um you smoke like packs of cigarettes in a day even a pack in a day um yeah you just you just you just you drug out you know what i'm saying you popping pills you probably were abused and subconsciously i want to make sure i'm saying the right word you've probably been abused but you can't remember, like, you mentally feel like, well, it's not a memory of yours, but it probably did happen. Because nobody does drugs for fun. Like, at the deep root of your issue, if you sat down and got high with your friends and you talked to them about their past and how they grew up, you're going to seem to understand why they do drugs now. Like, nobody's out here snorting coke 
and they had a great life growing up because it just doesn't match Dr drugs and no trauma don't match you, drugs are a coping mechanism so if you're using a coping mechanism you need something to cope in order to do it so yeah drugs people who do drugs are hurting on the inside and they have to get down to the root of why they're doing drugs so if you're doing drugs it's not because you like it okay you're coping with something and you need to get down to why before you know you take it over the edge okay. um you're attracted to family members and you don't know why yeah you were you were probably abused and you don't remember um like you have like this this itch in your pants for your cousin that's not normal that is not normal that is not normal you you got your 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 little son kissing his cousin and they babies and you think it's cute and you think it's funny no something is wrong here something is not there you know what i'm saying if you feeling a little funny or you think it's cute to see two little baby cousins making out something something's wrong with you and you are traumatizing these children and that's why some of them grow up thinking it's okay to fuck their real cousin because when they was kids you let them shower together you let them kiss and all that in the mouth um yeah you fucking up your kids if you're doing that you should really stop because you're creating uh incest and don't even realize it in your family baby cousins and baby brothers and sisters and all that should not be kissing and hugging and sitting on each other and uh taking baths with each other like nobody should know what what the other private looks like just because they're related does not that doesn't mentally go together you know what i'm saying if you're related to somebody why do they need to shower together like stop being lazy and look at what's going on you're teaching your children that it's okay to 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 see the other one naked no everybody deserves privacy to their own body but let's continue you like to call your boyfriend daddy now that is not normal okay calling your boyfriend daddy is not normal it's fucking weird and guys who um who are like mentally sane don't even like that shit because it's like you're making them think that they're your dad and that's nasty or if you're a guy and you like to call your girlfriend mom like that that is not okay that is not that is not okay you need to look into that because that is nasty you should not be wanting to call your boyfriend daddy it's weird it's fucking weird um you have trust issues and you feel like it's for you feel like that's just how i am no somebody probably violated you when you were younger and um you know it's still in your memory bank you just probably blocked it off but if you have severe trust issues i wouldn't even say severe but if you just have like this feeling when you get around certain people in your family or if you um like certain areas like no or like certain areas make you very uncomfortable it's probably something that happened to you there you know um you like boundaries if you around here letting men just smack you on the ass and grab your titties or you letting girls grab your penis or you feel like it's okay to grab a man's penis or you feel it's okay to to touch a woman's vagina and you don't really really know these people or you know them but it's like you're crossing their boundaries. If you have, if you have, if you are a boundary crosser, or if you let people cross boundaries with you, you're probably abused when you were younger. Okay, because um, 
um this is some this is some real shit even with kids like if you're if your kid is like trying to look under people's dresses or trying to fill up on their cousin or trying to fill up on girls at school or your daughter is um real interested in boys and she's 12 like but not interested like oh he's cute but like interested in like like interested you know what i'm saying like trying to see what's in them pants you know or it's just if you don't have just how what i'm basically trying to say is you let people cross your boundaries like you let them cross your boundaries and you think it's okay it's not okay you need to tell them to stop okay because somebody probably abused you when you were younger you don't realize it and that's why you feel like it's okay because it happened to you before uh, you attract people who are unhealthy for you you know are you attracting um men who expect you to do everything for them like their mom are you attracting women who sleep with all your homies raw and then want to come lay with you um are you attracting women who do drugs like a lot you know just drugs period like you know really pay attention to the type of relationships you've been in if your past relationships have been horrible or like very unhealthy you might want to go back in your memory bank and see who the fuck is the reason behind the shit um yeah yeah but yeah as far as like what i'm basically trying to say is is that if you're doing drugs, you really should get down to the root of why. Because nobody does drugs for fun. I could bet money. The deep down inside of you, you're not doing it because it's it's fun. You're doing it because you either probably don't want to think about something, you're trying to forget something, or you have this horrible feeling within you and you can't un seem to understand where it's coming from. So you're trying to mask it or you know trying to 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 make the feeling go away you know if you're very overly sexual and you just want to bang every chick in the world and raw or you know what i'm saying like you just really just always need to have somebody next to you like really look into that you know if you think it's okay to to date scammers and, and horrible men they're going to end up not horrible men but men with low self-esteem because if a man is out here risking his life like that and i'm not saying that you know say he's a scammer but he used it to actually build his own business or to you know make a better life from him for himself because some men are born in poverty and you know some of them just have to get it how to get it but if it's something he's been constantly doing for years and he hasn't made it benefit his life no you don't need to be with somebody like that because they feel like them scamming is just what is all they're good for you know which is gonna leave them in jail you don't want to be with or somebody that's in jail you know if you're dating someone in prison you know it's like You know, it's like you got to get down to the root of why you feel that you deserve to be the bottom of the barrel and to date it. You know, if you were abused and you didn't heal, you're going to attract a man that was abused and didn't heal. Now, his didn't heal, maybe um, he's a pimp or he got a whole bunch of baby mamas. This is how you could tell. Niggas got trauma that they ain't, they ain't heal from. He got a whole bunch of baby mamas. He's he's doing drugs. He's on that lean or Zans or Coke or Heron or marijuana. Or he's he on some. He's on the purpose sets. You know what I'm saying? He he likes future. That's a that's a big sign. You know, because it's like, what's wrong with you? Like why you don't like women? 
You know what I'm saying? Did your mom not love you as a child? Type shit, you know? Like, I think it's important to identify who you're dealing with to understand whether you want to deal with them or not. Not saying that they're bad people or they just don't deserve love. No, they need to heal too because they're living unhealthy so if you're living unhealthy because you were hurt you're going to attract somebody that's living unhealthy as well because they were hurt you know you be you becoming his seventh baby mama is not going to help him heal you doing drugs with them is not going to help them heal you um marrying him even though he hasn't healed is not gonna help him heal you know what i'm saying people honestly people are gonna really have to heal themselves you know in order to be healthy again and it's kind of fucked up but it's true you know whether you go to counseling or whether you go to rehab you're gonna have to want to do it for yourself first you know so i just wanted to make that video you know, I don't know maybe if it made sense or not, but I'm just basically trying to say that if you're unhealthy, you're going to attract a man that is unhealthy. And how you can tell whether he's unhealthy or not is multiple baby mamas, drug problems, anger problems, if he's abusive, um, if he abuses drugs, alcohol. I said that, but yeah, how she, how you going to tell if she's unhealthy? um poor health choices a whole bunch of kids drugs alcohol um she has anger problems she i'm trying to think i think i named all of them you know poor eating habits you know these are signs of people that are unhealthy it doesn't just come in drugs it also comes in other ways in life you know can't keep a job um always feels like somebody's trying them has no trust issue has has trust issues for no apparent reason you know they just fuck the world type of person like i only got myself like why do you feel like you only have yourself you know like what happened to you when you were little to make you feel like you're you are all that you have in this world you know so yeah it's like if you identify that within yourself it's always you can always start healing at any time, you know, and really start writing down, you know, how you're feeling, what happened to you, and, you know, or if you identify that in the people that you're dating, I think it is very best to, you know, kind of pull back from those kind of people because you might want to heal, they might not, they might not, or they might want to heal and you might not. You know, either way, who, whoever's going to start healing a year, it's not going to be even anymore. If you both do drugs and hate your life, you know, one of you is like, you know what, maybe I should just, you know, try to fix it. And the other person is like, man, fuck that. You know what I'm saying? Fuck everything. Fuck people. I hate it here. You know? It's like you guys aren't going to... Um, you know so yeah i hope this video made sense you know um yeah i have no idea what i'm gonna name this thing but how to tell if i think i did like three i think how to tell if you were abused and didn't know how to tell if you're unhealthy how to tell what you're attracting yeah, yeah. if you just love the hood niggas that beat on women and, and do massive drugs and, and don't have jobs or you just love women who neglect their children and, and, and do drugs and just something happened to you and I think you should, should get to the bottom of it because it's, it's ruining your fucking life you know it's fucking ruining you and if you get down to the bottom of it and that person is still around you get the fuck away from them okay because they are the reason why you went down that horrible fucking path okay
don't let anybody tell you anything different. If that shit happened, um, if you had somebody in your life that introduced you to bullshit in, in, in a mental, just fucked up way of living, please get away from them. Please. They are fucked up themselves. Okay? And they tried to bring that shit to you. Okay? And that shit has you on drugs and all type of shit. Has you hating women you ain't even know. You know what I'm saying? Fuck bitches get money. Where? Why do you feel that way, sir? Oh, because when you were you were nine, your mom picked her boyfriend over you. And then she went in there and snorted some coke and left you home for four days. That's why it's fuck bitches get money. Okay. Or, you know, your dad was fucking your girlfriend. <laughs> I'm sorry, that's not that's actually pretty messed up, okay? Like on some real shit. Some of us are out here still trying to be loyal to people just because they raised us. And you really need to sit down and realize they raised you in the most fucked up way. And you need to get away from them. Okay? Because they didn't know what the fuck they were doing. Or they knew what they were doing and they know that they just just ain't shit. Okay? So that's the video.